Welcome everyone to the 54th graduation of the College of Public Health. This is our celebration of you and our 2020 graduates. I'm Laura Simonoff, Dean of the College of Public Health, and each year it is my distinct pleasure to guide the celebration of your graduation. I know this was not what you had in mind when you thought about graduation, and it certainly was not what I had in mind either. Instead of gathering in the Leacura Center, surrounded by about 7,000 people, this year we're scattered around the country and the world watching this together. I'm speaking to you from my home office in Philadelphia. However, I do hope you are at home watching this with some of your family and celebrating your achievement together. Many of you may only be familiar with the small part of the college that you attended. I don't usually do this, but I want to list all the disciplines that are encompassed within the College of Public Health. So, here goes. Communication Sciences and Disorders, Environmental Health, Nursing, Health Policy, Physical Therapy, Public Health, Social Work, Athletic Training, Kinesiology, Exercise and Sports Science, Public Health, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Occupational Therapy, Biostatistics, Recreational Therapy, Health Information Management, Informatics, and Health Professions. So, why did I read this list to you? Because the current health crisis has highlighted the wisdom of bringing together the disparate pieces of our health system. That is, considering public health, individual care, and social services as a single interdisciplinary thread that holds together the fabric of a population and its individual members' well-being. The College of Public Health is actually founded on that premise, that only by understanding how the health of populations connects to the health of individuals can we create a truly healthy society. The College's single most important aspiration is that we all learn together with our constituent disciplines because only when all of us understand issues of access, equity, and the social and physical environments that we inhabit, can we optimize the likelihood that everyone can enjoy a life of physical, social, and emotional well-being. Most of you, I believe, chose this college because you're interested in pursuing an avocation that will transform people's lives by improving all aspects of health, whether it's pursued through changing policy, creating an assistive device that will provide mobility for an elderly person, or becoming a health care practitioner or a public health practitioner who works with a city like Philadelphia to mitigate the coronavirus to prevent the deaths of thousands of people. The current pandemic signals the urgency of this mission. We as a nation are in dire need of recreating our health system and our approach to keeping ourselves safe. To do this, we must reject the paradigm of individual care provision versus a public health perspective. They really are one. You as students are an integral part of this unique challenge, one in which many fields must come together to transform how we think about and study health and how we implement the way we care for our communities. Our mission then has been to train you to become the next generation of health professionals who can create the new knowledge and the new health care delivery systems that will result in all of us enjoying optimal health and well-being. Last year, I mentioned the old adage that if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. And frankly, little did I know that the following year, we would experience the greatest pandemic in modern history. And this is why you are all so important. We are looking to you, our future leaders, to succeed where, where your elders unfortunately have failed. We look to you at this moment to make a commitment that when our next crisis comes, our response will be much better. It's my hope that we as educators, researchers, and practitioners have helped to transform your lives so you can transform the lives of others. We are heading into the unknown together. Many of you will immediately take your place in the healthcare workforce. Some of you already have. Whatever you do, I know that you will harness your talent, energy, 
and dedication to make our society a much better place. I sincerely hope you will keep in touch with the college. I look forward to hearing about your accomplishments and what you achieve. I hope you will continue to be a part of the college's life and that we can continue to be a part of yours. So now I want to introduce our keynote speaker. It is my great honor and pleasure to introduce Judy Faulkner, today's keynote speaker. Judy is CEO and founder of Epic, the nation's leading provider of integrated healthcare software. I'm sure all of you have heard of Epic, whether as care providers, as students, or as patients. Since Epic was founded in 1979 in her basement apartment in Wisconsin, it has grown to become the nation's leading provider of integrated healthcare software. The country has gone on to introduce a number of firsts, such as the first successful graphical user interface based electronic medical record, the first integrated patient portal, and the first comprehensive health record that integrates mental health, social care, specialty pharmacy, genomics, dental, payers, retail medicine, and workplace health. Her contributions to healthcare technology are truly legion. Judy was listed as one of 50 memorable contributors to healthcare IT by the Healthcare Information and Management Systems Society, named by Becker's Hospital Review, as one of the 50 most powerful people in healthcare, one of the 40 smartest people in healthcare, and her personal favorite, that she is amongst the 26 most controversial people in healthcare. Modern Healthcare lists her in their 100 Most Influential People in Healthcare, and she received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the College of Healthcare Information Management Executives. Judy received her Master of Science in Computer Science from the University of Wisconsin and her Bachelor's Degree in Mathematics from Dickinson College. She has been recognized with honorary doctorates from the University of Wisconsin in the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. Through Epic's many innovations, she has transformed the nature of hospital care and medical records. As we have seen during the COVID-19 crisis, as hospitals are being pushed to their limit, the value of efficient, integrative healthcare systems cannot be overstated. To our students in the clinical fields, you will soon become very, very familiar with Epic Systems. And you will see firsthand the imprint that Judy continues to make on the way we provide care. To those pursuing policy and research, the data provided by these systems cannot be overstated. And now, Judy Faulkner. Hello, class of 2020. I'm honored to speak with you today as we celebrate your commencement from Temple University, one of the finest public health schools in the world. Today, I'll tell you four short stories from my life. All are about being an accidental tourist on the river of life that takes you to new places. My first story is from seventh grade. Every day, my teacher put a math puzzle on the board and didn't say a word about it. The next day, he put a new puzzle and the answer to the previous one. It was what I looked forward to every day. And because of him, I decided I absolutely loved math. The second story. The summer after my junior year at college, where I was a math major, of course, I went to the University of Rochester to work in radiation physics, which I knew nothing about. When I got there, I was surprised. They expected me to program. The closest thing I had ever seen to a computer was an adding machine. And if you don't know what that is, you can Google it. They gave me a Fortran book in a week. By the end of the summer, I loved programming. Really, what software is, is math. Lines and lines of math. It's language, you need to think in it, and it's art to make it a joy to use. When I applied to graduate school in math, Two of the schools accepted me in computer science. I thought, wow, that's neat. I didn't know that anyone could be a major in computer science. So I went to one of those schools. And as you can see, 
the river of life changes course. The third story, and the river continues to wander. At the University of Wisconsin, I took probably the first ever computers and medicine class. One of the professors asked me to work with his team. After a couple years doing various projects, I was asked to create a system that would allow clinicians to define their own data elements, design their own screens, and keep track of all of a patient's clinical information over time, whether inpatient or outpatient. Back then, almost everything was hard-coded, and the only systems that vendors were selling commercially were building a lab. What they were asking for was a clinical database system, what would eventually become the underlying infrastructure for Epicare. And let me assure you, I'm told that not a line of the code I originally wrote is still in use. Story four. Now the river's flowing faster. I installed the system in many departments at the UW. My users would call me up and say, Judy, start a company, and I would laugh and say no. Picture me as a graduate student, wearing blue jeans, t-shirts, cutting my own hair. I was a programmer. After several years of being asked, I said yes. And we started business in the basement of an apartment complex with one and a half people. Appreciate what the river of life brings you and do your best to have interesting adventures in every place the river takes you. In public health, you'll have many opportunities. Consciously keep being curious. It's all too easy to lose that. When my kids were five and 10, I was driving them to school and I asked them, what two things do you need from your parents? They thought for a bit and said, food and money. I said, you need roots and wings. Most of you were fortunate enough to have good roots because you're here. This commencement marks the time for wings to take off and fly your best. It might feel like a strange time to celebrate as we are facing one of the greatest public health challenges of the past century. COVID-19 has changed our lives and the lives of people around the world. Yet it's also a time of hope as we all come together to face this challenge. As public health emergencies continue, your role will be increasingly important. As you graduate, I wish strong wings for you you are joining the fight to keep people well, to protect the health of our world, and to save lives. I also wish that you dedicate part of your life to helping those who are less fortunate grow strong roots so that they too will someday have strong wings. I'd like to leave you with a poem that I have on my wall. It's from the opera Aida. A lifetime of service, wisdom, courage. That's all we ask of you. Nothing else will do. Congratulations, best wishes, and thank you. Now I'm pleased to introduce our speaker, Hannah McKinney, who is receiving her Bachelor of Science in Public Health. During her time at Temple, Hannah has served as a model student through her academic achievement, her thoughtful contributions to the classroom, and her dedication to serving her community. As an active member of Eta Sigma Gamma, the Health Education Honor Society, she's assisted in a number of health promotion and community service events. For the past two years, Hannah has volunteered with the College of Physicians of Philadelphia, mentored high school students, and provided information on health issues during Teen Health Week. She's also served as a student ambassador and a wonderful student ambassador to prospective students and their families. In the future, Hannah intends to continue her education pursuing a Master of Public Health degree with a focus on health promotion and improving the health of communities. And now, Hannah McKinney will address us. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah McKinney and I'm honored to be representing the College of Public Health Class of 2020. I'd first like to congratulate all of you today while this sort of celebration is monumental in its own, this year's ceremony in particular represents something far bigger than ourselves. 
And this year alone, we have witnessed firsthand a global pandemic affect every aspect of our lives, with our graduation being no exception. And yet we persevered. We have finished out our last semester, regardless of the uncertainty that lies in each and every one of our paths. Our resiliency and ability to continue to march forward is astounding. And while I recognize that this was never how we expected our college journeys to end, it will not diminish the accomplishments we have achieved during our time here at Temple. Now my college journey did not start at Temple. Like many of you, I struggled at a previous institution, unsure of what career path to take and where I saw myself in the years to come. It wasn't until halfway through my sophomore year of college that Temple University even crossed my mind. But believe me when I say, transferring to this school was the best decision I made for both my personal and academic self. From the minute I became an owl, I was overwhelmed with the endless opportunities for growth and development that this school has to offer. It was here that I saw myself grow and finally discover what it is I wanna do with the rest of my life. It was here that I found this incredible discipline of public health and all that the field has to offer. Now, since declaring my major of public health, I've noticed I'm asked two questions the most. When discussing my degree, the typical response seems to be, now what is public health exactly? But since of late, that question hasn't seemed to come up. Instead, I've been asked, so what are your thoughts on coronavirus? The reason I bring this up, however, is because as a student in the College of Public Health, we experienced firsthand a global pandemic develop and come into existence. We were able to witness not only how healthcare professionals handled the situation, but how the general population responded. And from a public health perspective, this is not only fascinating, but instructive. Now in a world of social media, it's hard to not become invested in the opinions and politics surrounding something as widely broadcasted as the coronavirus but I would like to share one observation that stood out to me significantly. On Twitter, I had read, coronavirus makes clear what has been true all along. Your health is as safe as that of the worst insured, worst cared for person in your society. It will be decided by the height of the floor, not the ceiling. Now, while I speculated why this tweet in particular stood out to me so much, it dawned on me that this is a prime example of what public health is all about. Even in a country as wealthy as the United States, we have been no stranger to those who live on the floor. And as public health professionals, a major question we will be faced with is how do we go about raising this floor? And while we may not discover that answer today, this college has set us up to address this question and so much more. Now, before I end, I wish to leave you all with this. As I mentioned, this college has given all of us the tools we need to become the influencers of public health and every area pertaining to it. We have the ability to create a healthier, stronger, more educated society. Each one of us has the ability to transform healthcare in every aspect, so don't settle for accepting what you cannot change. Challenge the policymakers who stole reproductive rights in the South. Support the local programs combating the opioid epidemic that is affecting our own communities stand behind those who are actively advocating for basic human rights and fight every day for those who are living on the floor. We truly are the future of public health and those improvements we wish to see are ours to make. Thank you and as always, go Owls. Joseph William Nicholson Adams. Adam C. Bendinsky Alec S. Berenbaum Zachary Ramcharam Bisasar Kelly R. Bradley Maya Dion Brewer Kishan A. Chambers Selena Chiang Christian Calderon Engersgaard Michael Flagel Michael A. Hafler Bethany Christina Hannum Benjamin Reed Harris
Michele S. Javieras. Carol Margaret Henderson. Carly Elizabeth Kaiser. Brett P. Kelly. Alyssa M. Kondrak. Brina K. Labick. Anderson Loeza. Annie G. Lodwig. Mervyn Lumba. Brian Mackey. Amir McCain. Grace Moore. Morgan Morris. Sean Murphy. Sean Michael Otway. Ryan William Paul. Radha Ran. Justin Anthony Ray. Aiden T. Riley. Kevin Rimler. Hennel Shaw. Jesse L. Stainkavage. Allison Morgan Stratton. Yurina Tomalishchak. Jack Hayden Trainer. Devin M. Tran. Brianna Luce Trani. Adam A. Trapanotto. Zavia Marie Antoinette Vance. John A. Wilson. Morgan Renee Clifford. Alexis Crawford. Matthew G. Falkenberg. Zachary Hickson. Lauren Jemima Pierre. Mike Stonehawker. Matthew Joseph Trepanier. Pendor Abbas. Brielle A. Artis. Fatih Aydin. Trina Bateson. Andrea Betzel. Madison Taylor Blum. Violet Bird. Kylie Chan. Dong Hwan Choi. Kai Clark. Riley Conahan. Cassandra Leonor Cruz. Natlin L. Don. Malik Daniels. Catherine G. Darty. Shante Amanda Davis. Hannah Marie Davis. Kristen Ashley Davis. Madison N. Davis. Dimitri R. Delva. Elizabeth Rose DeGinto. Julianne Elise DeMemo. Adri Rachel Dullum. 
Andrew Lau Ea. Christian Edney. Brianna Capri Edwards. Michaela R. Eisenhower. Sarah Ediani. Jane Ann Fiordaliso. Nathan Robert Flexman. Diana Ferda. Mackenzie Jordan Gelvin. Cindy Guaman. Carmen Julia Guzman. Christopher Hammerstein. Brianna N. Hanover. Hunter W. Herb. Christina Mercedes Hernandez. Kylie Hill. Shantia Monique Edith Horsford. Atia L. Howell. Erin Elizabeth Hughes. Alex Ignatenko. Morgan Elizabeth Ireland. Abigail Irish. Jason Jeffries. Adrissa T. Cabia. Sandeep Carr. Mackenzie Amanda Keener. Masaran Keita. Shannon Lee Kerrigan. Catherine A. Clink. Tallulah Ruby Kaur. Ryan Kraft. Samuel J. Lake. Simone J. Lanchin. Rita M. Lechok. Severa Lizot. Brianne Emily Lloyd. Adriana Lusinski. Carolyn Mayo. Michelle F. Margolis. Mia Martino. Colleen P. Mackerlane. Monica W. Michael. Saqib A. Mirza. Olivia M. Morin. Kenyana Patrice Moss. Taha Mutan. Mara Carolyn Nelson. Jimmy Nguyen. John Nguyen. Krishna J. Nguyen. Aiden Manley O'Brien. Olumide Oladele Oladende. Melissa Colley O'Neill. Shawande Ase Osayande. Alexis Lauren Osmolowski. Abigail C. Overman. Rohit R. Palella. Krima Kanubhai Patel. Pratik S. Patel. Sabrina T. Peckman. 
Alicia Perkowski. Jessica Pham. Anthony Brian Potts. Alexa Ray Quinones. Taylor Marie Reed. Emily Beatrice Rinal. Carly Madison Rizzo. Timothy Raymond Robertson. Carissa Taylor Rohrbach. Kaylee Roller. Washington A. Sa. Sally Lamine Sagnia. Rachel Catherine Sahagian. Ramon Sardar. Marie K. Savage. Ajay Silam. Abraham K. Shanadi. Hemal Jayesh Sinvad. Regan Smucker. Juliana Delora Solis. Donye Shanna Tate. Alyssa Chelsea Tante. Francesco Tasse. Lauren A. Thomas. Lan Gok Tran. Michael Tran Triu. Monita Tom. Chizoba N. Ugu. Yen Vu. Shakur H. Waldo. Brianna M. Wasilas. John K. Welcher. Liam M. Welsh. Jacob Wente. Raven C. Wilson Jackson. Nicholas Ryan Waltman. Jason Yakamiv. Giovanni Zapata. Courtney Ann Zernick. Patrick Abukai. Nicole Elizabeth Aida. Deanna Alabed. James J. Algieri. Daria Anderson. Benjamin Arbach. Jason Babb. Mamadou Ba. Shiva Barampur. Bobby Lynn Bailey. Carly Lauren Banter. Benedict Corey Barnett. Alexandra Layton Bashar. Jillian L. Berry. Scott Ryan Betts. Joy Maxine Blalock. Julianne T. Blank. Tristan Swigert Boyer. Nicholas Armand Carbonaro. Kayla R. Cartmel. Sean Chandler. 
Gabriella Ann Chassidin. Rosalind Chiazan. Ashley Cho. Christopher Robert Cervello. Sydney R. Kaufman. Kyle Condon. Kai Ariana Connor Watts. Devin A. Corrigan. Mackenzie Ann M. Courtright. Jordan Chrissy. Claudia Isabel Cuevas. Caroline M. D'Amico. Carly Victoria Damon. Shayla C. Daniels. Brett Dayhoff. Megan Laura Deerstein. Tracy Deng. Catherine Edgar. Ariel J. Egoville. Alec T. Evanitas. Amy Noel Farragher. Tony Elizabeth Fighty. Lauren P. Fenlin. Lucas Guerra Fernandez. Stephanie Marie Ferrer. Delaney E. Finger. Brittany R. Fitch. Matthew Fontaine. Elena S. Foster. Christina Rose Gantz. Daniel Evans George. Justin C. George. Ethan Gonzalez. Taylor I. Gooch. Christine Luda Gordinsky. Emily Goshow. Samuel Hite Hale. Allison Joan Hart. Stephanie Ann Hartman. Brianna Harvey. Kathleen D. Heilman. Alyssa Hillman. Amanda Grace Hoff. Seng Hong. Diana M. Hunt. Shannon Mary Hurley. Christopher E. Hurry. Aniekan Ubokudom Ibanga. Alexandra Morgan Jackson. Mariama Jallo. Simona E. Jefferson. Gianna Haley Johnson. Joshua J. Jordan. Zukiswa S. Juili. John A. Kaminsky. William V. Kelleher Jr. Asher Sawan Kim. Ella Kim. Shade Mary Elizabeth King. Frank Cobran. 
Emma Rose Koch. Olga Monica Kolajeska. Ryan Patrick Kamiski. Mariana Kopp. Skylar Marie Kostick. Christina Kokoski. Sydney Page Lacey. Brooke E. Lambert. Bashir M. Lauderdale. Tan Lee. Peter Sook Lee. Maria Lee. Diana Lim. Marvin C. Manalo Jr. Aaron M. Marich. Sean S. Matthew. Jennifer J. Morris. Bridget Claire Malarkey. Jessica Sarah Nevis. Anderson Schwan Wen. Simisola Olabisi Olateju. Emmanuel A. Omolola. Juan Luis Ortiz. David A. Osorio. Jason Paul Otway. Reshma Mariam Padiara. Connor Matthew Ramos Pakalinawan. Purvaben Middlebai Patel. Raksha Naveen Patel. Ronak B. Patel. Amy Quinn Pham. Alyssa Fan. Thomas T. Platts. Carrie Adele Plunkett. Emily Ann Puff. Lacey J. Powell. James P.O. Tu V. Quach. Megan Elizabeth Quinn. Nicholas Reich. Miranda Rose Reub. Wesley T. Richardson. David Rodriguez. Leah Hope Rogers. Natalia Savchuk. Jacob W. Shallis. Emma Francis Sank. Taylor Smith. Jane K. Stewart. Joseph W. Stoltz. Taylor Kathleen Thomas. Selena M. Tongchun. Daisy C. Todd. Nicholas Van Allen III. Jacob T. Vandemotter. Matthew J. Vandervossen. Tao V. Sofita Watnoy. Zachary A. Weglos. Trayvon Williams. 
Jasmine Tory Wright, Jordan M. Yancey, Ashley N. Yesselsoy, Shannon C. Yoakum, Nicholas Anthony Zalafi, Andy Zhang. Aisha Bimla, Ksenia Power, Anna M. Cruz, Danielle Lee Knight, Mitchell Sherman, Finally. I am so pleased to welcome Veronica Hill Milborn, Chair of the College of Public Health Board of Visitors. Veronica is President and CEO of Spectrum Health Services, a nonprofit community health center that serves the Philadelphia area. Before her position at Spectrum, Veronica was CEO of Pathways, a mental health and behavioral health services provider. She's also held the positions of Senior Vice President for Medical Services at the Health Transformation Alliance in Washington, D.C., and was Vice President of Clinical Services at Health Partner Plans in Philadelphia. Veronica's professional and educational background seems to touch on every aspect of healthcare. She holds a bachelor's degree in nursing, a master's degree in health education, and a Juris Doctor degree which she earned at Temple's Beasley School of Law. An active community member, Veronica serves on a number of local and national political committees and not-for-profit boards, providing services to underserved populations. In 2018, she became the first African-American woman elected to the Horsham Township Council in Montgomery County. Veronica has built an extensive career in operations management, government relations and community health promotion across some of the most impactful healthcare organizations in our region. So now Veronica will provide today's closing remarks. Good morning. I'm Veronica Hill Milborn and I am the chair of the College of Public Health for Temple University's Board of Visitors. And on behalf of the Board of Visitors and members of Temple University's College of Public Health and as alum of Temple University, I congratulate and commend you. Today is a special day of celebration. Now I'd like to ask you to reflect for a few moments on why you chose to seek a degree at Temple University's College of Public Health. And I would imagine that some of the factors that you considered included an expectation that you would be afforded a quality education from a prestigious academic institution richly entrenched in his commitment to diversity and inclusion, community engagement, and civic responsibility. A learning institution which cultivates imagination and largest perspective and prepares its students to be global citizens. I remind you that the degree that has been conferred to you comes with the rights, responsibilities, and privileges associated with a degree from Temple University. These rights and privileges bring an enormous responsibility to make good use of your knowledge and for you to serve your community. Today, you will begin your professional journey and join a long line of distinguished healthcare professionals like our keynote speaker, Judith Faulkner, who have taken this responsibility to serve seriously and work tirelessly to make the world a better place. You may have heard previous alumni refer to themselves as Temple Maid. Well, this reference infers that you have been equipped with exceptional knowledge recognized in your field of expertise, a commitment to community service, and the value proposition and appreciation for diversity and inclusion. You identify with Temple's unique spirit, sense of pride, and roll up your sleeves attitude. Being Temple Maid has adequately prepared you for the multitude of healthcare challenges that certainly lie ahead. The COVID-19 pandemic has dramatically transformed the world as we know it. 
Our healthcare professionals and providers are true heroes who bravely and intentionally place themselves on the front lines and are selfless in serving others. Now, these are uncertain times and the need for your service is greater than ever. The end of the pandemic is yet not definite and there have been over 2.7 million people worldwide impacted by this epidemic. Healthcare providers and researchers are working around the clock to halt the spread of the virus. However, I believe that together we will be victorious in eradicating this devastating virus. And I recognize that this pandemic has impacted each of you in many ways that will be forever entrenched in your memory. However, I wanna remind you that your degree has prepared you well to join this courageous group of professionals who respond to the call of duty day in and day out. This is your opportunity to step up and serve. It's important for you to understand that as healthcare providers, we don't run from the fire, we run towards the fire. So I ask you now, how will you put your education to use? What will your gift to the world be? Will you be a mentor to others, a healthcare provider, a researcher, an advocate for the underserved, an educator, a supporter of the environment, a philanthropist, a dedicated ambassador for Temple? Any one of these would be a great legacy. You must also embrace the opportunity to pay it forward and to support the countless other students that will follow. I ask that you remain connected to the College of Public Health, and I encourage you to become an active member of the Temple University Alumni Association and to support the college with your gifts as an acknowledgement of your appreciation for the phenomenal education, support, and experience that you received. Your future support of Temple will allow the college to continue helping thousands of underserved students like so many of you. After today, please actively consider how you might serve your college and seek out ways that you might lend support, whether you think it's small or large. Let us not forget the obligation to give back. Today, I hope you leave here with a deep appreciation for the experience that you have received and for the education that you have received. And I hope that you will remember the first time you stepped onto the campus and that you will cherish the friends and the memories that you have made during your time at this special place. Remember, you are Temple Maid. Carry yourself with pride and purpose. So again, I'm proud of all of you and I'm confident in your ability to do amazing things. Congratulations, Temple University College of Public Health, class of 2020 and best wishes and God bless. Hello everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you, our graduates from the Department of Kinesiology to our spring 2020 virtual graduation ceremony. My name is Jeff Garris and I'm serving as the interim department chair. I would also like to welcome all of your friends and family who have joined you to participate in this virtual ceremony and celebrate with you. We celebrate today your accomplishments and look ahead expectantly to how you will serve others with the knowledge and skills you have acquired during your time at Temple. Please keep in mind the importance of what lies ahead of you. You will play a vital part in helping promote clients and patients' health and well being. This is important work. This is truly a calling. I would like to suggest that your work as a professional, regardless of the path you take with your kinesiology degree, will help people find purpose in life and close connections with others. Now, why do I suggest that? Because people find purpose and meaning in life through their movement experiences, through physical activity, through exercise, and because people form and maintain close relationships with others through their movement experiences. 
again, physical activity and exercise. In short, society needs you. People need your help to be healthy and well. You are graduating at a time of trial. Difficult circumstances our country and the world is facing with the coronavirus. Think about where you have been finding your strength, your sense of security during this time of trial. Consider those you have been able to rely on and hold fast to those relationships in your life and throughout your life. Those relationships will sustain you and nourish you. Do not try to go it alone. Showing vulnerability and relying on others is a sign of strength, not weakness. And keep in mind that one of the marks of success as a professional is when your clients and patients feel safe enough with you to show their own vulnerability and rely on you and the work that you do. Strive for that. Please know that all of us in the Department of Kinesiology, your teachers, your advisors, and all our staff members are very proud of you on this day. We look forward to hearing from you, hearing about the great things you are doing in your life. Please stay in touch. And I would now like to invite two of my colleagues, Dr. Sarah Kovacs, and Dr. Wendy Chessman to join me. And on the count of three, we have something to say to you. One, two, three. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done, Great everyone. Job. Congratulations. Congratulations. Great job. They say that the last leg of the race is always the hardest, but you've made it. Congratulations to Temple University's College of Public Health Class of 2020. Congratulations to the Class of 2020. You made it! Hey College of Public Health graduates, congratulations. If you can make it through this semester, you can make it through anything. Now go forth and conquer the world. Congratulations to the Class of 2020. Hats off, well deserved. Good luck on your next adventure. Congratulations. Job well done. Now that's how you do it. Now go out there. Enjoy the journey. Go get them. At long last, you've graduated. Hooray, congratulations. We are all so proud of you. Congratulations to the CPH class of 2020. You made it, you did it. And we're so proud of you. Wishing you all the best and all success as you enter this new phase of your life. Congratulations, go get them. Congratulations, you crazy Tempo grad. Looking forward to seeing you at the next homecoming game. See you then, go Owls. Class of 2020, you have gone through what was probably the most difficult semester of your entire time at Temple, and you made it. Congratulations on your fortitude, your persistence, and your hard work. We are proud of you, I am proud of you, and I wish you the very best of everything as you enter the next leg of your journey. Congratulations, Al's, you did it! Yay, class of 2020! Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you and all that you've been through. We can't wait to see all that you will accomplish. Please be sure to stay in touch. Congratulations, we can't be there in person, but we're with you in spirit. Temple proud. Congratulations, social workers, we love you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome to the club. Temple made, Temple proud. Congratulations, my third year DPT students. Told you I'd be here no matter what. Take care. Les envío éxito y les envío buena salud a todos en, en todas las futuras etapas de la vida que vienen por ahí. Hey graduates of 2020, all of us in the Kinesiology Physical Activity Program want to wish you congratulations and the very best and remember, stay physically active. Congratulations to Temple University's College of Public Health Class of 2020, and welcome to my new colleagues, the new doctors of physical therapy. Well done, congratulations. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. You've worked extremely hard to get to where you are. Make your celebration, no matter how you do it, a true celebration of you. It's your time to shine. I'm cheering for all of you. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2020 and to the social work students in particular on this great achievement in what were really difficult circumstances. You should be very proud of what you've done. Class of 2020, you exemplify the university motto, Perseverance Congress. Congratulations, and you are truly Temple made. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2020, Temple U class of 2020. Hope, dream, inspire, love. Do all that you can do and be great, have great lives. We wish we were with you, but you're in our hearts and lives. Congrats. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go out and show the world what Temple Made means during these difficult times. Soon this will be in your rear view mirror. It'll be stories to tell your grandchildren. Until then, be resourceful, be hopeful, and do good. Over the second half of the semester, you've shown your family, your friends, and your faculty the true meaning of the university's motto, Perseverance Conquers. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go forward and do amazing things with your careers and your lives. Congratulations to the College of Public Health graduating class of 2020, and in particular to the Doctors of Physical Therapy graduating class. Uh, I'm proud to call you all my colleagues and welcome to the profession. Congratulations. Congratulations on becoming a CPH graduate. We're so proud of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations, speech language and hearing majors. We are so proud of you. Class of 2020, you have earned this achievement and we are so very proud of you. Go do great things. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to all of our Bachelor of Science and Health Professions majors. Go get them, class of 2020. Hey graduates, well, we didn't see this coming, but may you have nothing but 2020 vision in your future. Congratulations to the College of Public Health class of 2020. We're all so very proud of you. Congratulations, Temple CPH class of 2020. Woo! Cheers to the HIM graduates. Wishing you the best life has to offer. Looking forward to seeing you again. In the meantime, sending all my love. Take care. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2020. You are temple made. Congrats, everybody. Go out in the world and do great things. And never forget, you are temple made. Hi, nurses. Three quick things from Dr. Dickey. One, your nursing degrees are the most versatile and useful in the entire world. Two, keep walking. And three, take care of your feet. You're going to need them when you're my age. Love you guys. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. Temple University, class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations, you make us proud to be owls. Hoo hoo. Graduating from the College of Public Health requires dogged determination. So for me and Nito, congratulations. Hey y'all, I love being a part of your journey. I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys are amazing. Congratulations, class of 2020. You should be extremely proud of everything that you've accomplished. I wish you the absolute best in our world. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you and admiring your commitment to change. Please take time out to practice wellness and know that we're thinking of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Be healthy, be happy, do great things in the world. Congratulations, CPH graduates. The world needs you and your talent and your ambition now more than ever. And we know you're gonna go out into the world and do great things. Congratulations, graduates. You're the future of public health and you are needed now more than ever. We are so proud of you and cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Congratulations on your graduation, class of 2020. I wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it and we're so proud of you. The perseverance that you students showed this semester, you're gonna carry that character out into your first job and into grad programs. You're gonna do terrific. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. We're very proud of your accomplishments and wish you the best. Congratulations, CPH class of 2020. You made it. 
Now you're ready to fly to the community, to the society, and to the world. This class is going to hold a special place in my heart because a lot of you were in my first class that I taught at Temple. So I wish y'all nothing but the best and congratulations. Hi everybody, Dr. Connor here to say congratulations to all of the class of 2020 and especially to the OTs. Woohoo! OT rocks! Congratulations to all of the graduates in the various programs in the College of Public Health. This has been an unforgettable year and I hope the best for all of you. Congratulations Temple Class of 2020, Temple DPT! Class of 2020, congratulations on reaching a huge milestone. Today, one leg of the journey ends and tomorrow, another one begins. Congratulations, Temple graduates!